Hi ladies, uh, got a little uh, project I'm working on for um, a Christmas present for someone special here on YouTube and um, as you can see it's a, a teacup that's been altered into a pincushion. I'll start off with the bottom. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's the mini rose trim and the bling around there and then I wrapped a piece of lace around and then I wrapped a bit of this beaded trim there and then I stuck on the white flowers all different types some resin ones these ones are the ones uh, Hazel gave me thanks Hazel and here I've got a little birdie and um, some little diamonds, little pearl thing here that looks like a leaf coming out. And I've, I've put this all, all around, this eyelet lace um, trim. And painstakingly I put these little beads along the little circles all the way around. So just because it looked a bit plain, I wanted it with more sparkle. And also this lovely uh, knitting yarn, I used that for a bit of trim, just for a bit more warmth. And that bling trim all around. And this bling trim, I'm going to be putting in my Etsy shop for two yards of this for a dollar forty if anyone's interested I got this type and also the wavy one that's got the diamonds on each side of the waves um, 70 cents a yard I think that's 90 centimeters yeah a yard or a dollar forty so um, then I got this crochet thing here and this is from the lovely Lisa, Maggie 2005 Cupcake, thank you. And this is from the scene binding Kimmy B09, who was telling me she's never won anything before, so I'm so pleased. Um, my package should be there Monday, Tuesday, Kimmy. And I've got this lovely satin bow that I glitzed with the normal school kids, you know, the the glitter, glitter glue. Just brush that on, works just as well. Got a little applique in the back there of a little butterfly and I'll put a little pearl flower there. Just, I, I did all this here to hide the, the bow kept slipping and there was a gap there so I thought I'll put some of S S Kimmy's seam binding in. came up really lovely oh and Kimmy I used this thank you that's lovely love that and over oh here on the bottom here from the eBay picked one of those up there and here I got um, this has got a little bit of gold, like it's got gold here and silver. I like a bit of gold and silver together. And this I brushed it with silver glitter glue. Now moving on to my stick pins. I made a whole bunch of stick pins for this, about 15. Now these are the big ones that Hazel gave me. And these are the, all of these beads are the ones that Hazel gave me except for the spaces. So isn't that a whopping whopper of a bead. There we go, so there's one there. I think I might have to zoom it out a bit manually <laughs> so you can see all the beads that are gonna be put on here. Um, I haven't made stick pins in a while so yeah they're lovely. Um, I hate using glue so I took your advice Anne, early something I won, Anne from London, put the little ear spacer things, which work lovely, thank you Anne. 
but um, for the tiny little ones, like um, Hazel gave me these massive big ones and she also gave me these tiny little ones and with the little ones it doesn't take too well so I had to put glue and then secure that on. So we've got this little one here, so we'll put the little ones at the front. Then we got this, and these are lovely. Hazel, if you can tell me where you got these from, they're beautiful. And that little dangle charm, I love that. Uh, And the next one, I love that bead hazel, thank you, beautiful, I think that silver one was yours too, I think all of these are yours, that's my stick pin, these middle sized ones are mine, the really small ones and the really big ones are hazels, isn't that lovely, I love the way the green looks with the pink and the ivory, real pretty. So it, it makes all the difference, doesn't it, once you start doing that. Uh, it's got a lovely little flower in here. I wanted like to make it look like small, medium, large, like uh, can't think of the word. <laughs> got another one here. Different layering, so... This is an interesting bead. See how it hooks on there? It's real cute. Well, I think we might fill some up at the back too. Here's another one. I'm not sure whether to wait and post this and put it on after my person gets it or put it on now. If anyone knows me, they know that I'm not good with things like that, so I think I might post it. That's cute, I love that. Yeah, like I didn't want to tell Carolina Bug she was getting a rack, but I couldn't help myself. I left her a hint in one of the comments she left me saying, keep an eye out on your letterbox shouldn't have said that because I really wanted it to be a surprise but I think the reason why I told her is I didn't want her thinking I forgot about it because um, she was really sweet when she sent me all that stuff to do that the trouble she went through ordering everything and all the extra she put in and also entering my challenge so yeah I just wanted to let her know that I haven't forgotten her and I think that's why I told her. Doesn't that look lovely? I'm really happy with that. So, um, I will say it's for my very good friend Sonia, who made an incredible album for me. And she made something from the heart with a lot of love that took a lot of time so I had to and more to the point I wanted to do something like that for you too Sonia so thank you so much and just very quickly um, I ended up putting the flowers on I think that looks really cute alright thank you bye